Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be opening a box. And that box is from the brand Glossier. If you aren't familiar with the brand Glossier, they are a cosmetics and skincare company. Um, I haven't tried any of their products before, but the vibe and feeling I get from their brand is that it's mainly really minimalistic, um, kind of light, no makeup, makeup kind of a deal. So it's going to be very, um, it's all just going to be very, very minimal makeup. I decided to order some products from their brand because recently with it being summer, um, not to mention I've been getting a lot less closing shifts at my work, so I don't have as much time in the morning to, um, you know, put on a full face of makeup and just, you know, the heat and everything, I just really haven't been feeling it. My skin has just been really, really awesome lately actually, and so I've just been wearing a lot less makeup. I thought it would be cool to try out some of their products just to even further kind of simplify my no makeup makeup routine. So I'm just gonna put on some concealer really quick. Um, the brand has its own skin tint. It's like a really, really light, um, light coverage foundation and they also have a concealer as well but I didn't order either of those so um, I'm just going to be putting on a little bit of concealer and then we're going to jump right in with the unboxing and trying the products. I now have my concealer on so we are all set to get ready and open the box. Um, right off the bat it's super cute because they tape the box shut with a little piece of tape that says Glossier and then it has a little smiley face and it says have a nice day which is just so dang cute. So like before, we're gonna take my scissors that I've had since the third grade. That's not a joke, I literally have. And we're gonna open this here box. Oh, it's pink and it says you look good. Oh my gosh. This is the first thing that's inside the box and it's a little envelope with the G for Glossier. And let's see, open it up, oh wow. There is this beautiful card with hands all over it. Oh my gosh, I love that. We also have some, like a pack of Glossier stickers. So from my understanding, you're supposed to use these to actually decorate your products, which is kind of cool. Um, I like that you can kind of like personalize your own products. Here is everything that I actually bought. I really like that it all comes in this like little Ziploc um, bubble wrap thing. I think that's really cool. I really appreciate when brands have um, good packaging just because, I mean, you don't want your products to break on the way over. So that's really cool. So let's open her up. I think I could definitely like reuse this. I feel like it'd be really nice for traveling. So I got a sample of the Milk Jelly Cleanser. You got to pick a sample, which was cool. I purchased four different products. I purchased the Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. I purchased the Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick in the shade Crush. I purchased the Boy Brow Grooming Pomade in the shade Blonde. And I purchased the Halo Scope in the shade Moonstone. I'm sorry, but I'm like obsessed with this stupid thing. Like of all things, I'm like, this is, this is so cool. So let's jump right in with actually testing the products out. Um, I'm going to start with the boy brow just because generally I start with my brows. All the products are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be, which is fine, but they're just like really cute and tiny. So here is my face, nice and close and personal. So right off the bat, the wand for the boy brow is nice and small, which I really like just because with tinted like brow gels and stuff, if the wand's too big, it can kind of get everywhere if you don't have like really nice full brows. So this is, I really like the size of this. Um, but let's just go right in. I'm, I'm so excited. So, ooh, <laughs> ooh. It's definitely like 
filling my brows in a little bit, which is nice. Because normally when I do no makeup makeup, um, I just put a clear brow gel on just to kind of set them in place. But this is really nice because it just like fills them in a little bit. I really like this so far. I really like how quick that is. It's super nice. Let's do the other. So here is the finished product. I really like how that looks. I like how it made my brows look like really nice and bushy and full. Um, I did get like a little bit up above my brow and I don't know if that's just because this is my first time using it and I just kind of there's a little bit of a learning curve or if that just happens but I clean it up really quickly with a q-tip no problem not a big deal to me um, I really like the color too next I think I'm going to do some blush so the blush that I got the cloud paint it's super cute because it oh excuse me their blushes are like ridiculously cute. It's almost like a little bottle of just like acrylic paint, which is adorable. So I'm really big into researching products before I buy them, um, just because I don't wanna waste my money. Um, so I did some research on all of these products and from my understanding, you just need like the tiniest amount, like it's super pigmented. So let's, uh, Let's, let's go right in. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my finger, just like the tiniest amount, and just kind of dab it on my cheeks. Oh, cute! That is a cute color. Oh my god. It blends out like instantly too. That's amazing. And that just like gives you the most like cute looking natural little flush. And I use the tiniest amount. This is gonna last me forever. So far, two for two is a win. Glossy is killing it already. I really like this blush though. I feel like it would be really cool like on my eyelids too. I feel like I could definitely do that and it would look good. The next thing I'm going to try is the Halo Scope, which is just like a stick highlighter. Here she is. I got the shade Moonstone, which is kind of like a white pearlescent kind of a looking shade. You can twist it up, which is cool. And in the center, it looks like there's, it's just like a clear little dot. And I think that's supposed to like help make the highlight look like really natural and dewy rather than just like shimmery sparkly like metallic madness which don't get me wrong i totally dig but this is like no makeup makeup so it's supposed to you know look natural i'm just going to just apply this directly to my cheekbone and then just blend it out with my finger um we'll see if that works if not i can just put it on my finger and go in, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Here's the side with no highlighter on, and here's the side with the highlight. And as you can see, like, it just makes my skin look super dewy and fresh. Um, they had another shade called Quartz, and after I purchased this, I kinda wish that I got the Quartz one just because, I don't know, I think it looked a little less like glittery than this one, but this is nice. So far I like how everything I can just use my fingers with, because that's the whole point of like, I think that's supposed to be the whole point of this brand, it's just supposed to be easy and natural. Oh. I feel like you could just like put this all over the lid too and get like a really glossy look. Oh yeah. I'm just putting it all over my face now. Oh, this is money. Hi Glossier, I love you. You're now my fave. We're to the last product. So the last thing is the Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick. Um, from my understanding, these are supposed to kind of imitate the look of like when you put on some lipstick 
and um, you blot it down a little bit. So it's gonna be really sheer. It's not gonna be like full liquid lipstick kind of a deal. But let's just go in, it's kind of like a, like a rosy kind of a raspberry-ish color. I don't know, I thought it would look nice with my natural lip color, kind of like, I guess not that similar, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's just, we'll just go in. Oh. Oh yes. So I'm officially in love with all of this. This is awesome. Out of all the products, this was the one that I was expecting to be like the least impressed with. But I love this because I have kind of a hard time wearing like lipsticks. I'm more of a lip gloss girl just because I hate having dry lips and I have chapped lips almost all of the time. So this is perfect for me because it feels just like a lip balm. And I was, expe I was expecting this to feel really dry for some reason. I don't know why. I thought it was just gonna feel like, I don't know, just dry and crusty. But this feels just moisturizing like a lip balm. And it gave me like the perfect rosy color I was wanting. I had such a hard time deciding which shade of this I wanted to get. And this one's perfect for my lips. Oh my God. So Glossier is officially like my new favorite brand. Everything's cruelty free that I looked at at least. I'm pretty sure it's all cruelty free. Everything I got definitely was. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, I can't say enough good things. I just think I look really nice and natural and dewy and just like awake. I love everything that I tried. I gave a Glossier a 10 out of 10 so far. I, it was all great. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. If you have more ideas for videos, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video because that really helps me out. And please subscribe so then we can be friends and we can hang out and um, you can watch me be a dingus. Sorry I'm not very good at doing these types of videos. I just always get like so lost in the sauce when I'm trying stuff out because I'm like, oh, oh, I love it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.